Structuralism versus Functionalism What is the function of the mind? What are the elements of mental processes? Why do our thoughts and feelings lead us to behave in certain ways? In 1879, a German philosopher-physician, Wilhelm Wundt, established the first experimental laboratory to study the basic elements, or building blocks, of the mind. Out of Wundt's work came the approach structuralism, which focuses on identifying the basic elements or structures of mental processes. The occipital lobe helps to process images. The temporal lobe helps to process feelings and the frontal lobe helps to process thoughts. In the early 1900s, an American psychologist, William James, focused on studying what the mind does and how behavior functions. Challenging structuralism, James's approach, called functionalism, emphasizes the functions and purposes of the mind and the role of behavior in the individual's adaptation to the environment. Imagine you encounter a bear on a camping trip in the woods. Structuralism might ask, where does the fear you feel occur in the mind? The amygdala helps us regulate fear. Functionalism might ask, why do you feel fear in preparing to deal with emergency situations? Main differences between these approaches are, structuralism focuses on what the mind is, while functionalism focuses on what the mind does. Structuralism looks inside the mind searching for its structures. Functionalism looks at human interactions and tries to understand the purpose of thoughts. Structuralism is about the what of the mind. Functionalism is about the why of the mind. Recap Structuralism versus Functionalism Structuralism focuses on identifying the basic elements or structures of mental processes. It focuses on the what of the mind. Functionalism emphasizes the functions and purposes of the mind and the role of behavior in the individual's adaptation to the environment. It focuses on the why of the mind.